Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into Xander Zayas and Patrick Teixeira t- today on, on this episode, which should be a good one. Uh, Xander Zayas, well, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Follow me on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, there's always a bull market somewhere. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. So let's do that. Uh, Zayas, uh, also subscribe to my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. I just gave the uh, Patreons an awesome little parlay that hit. A little two-play pl- two two play parlay that hit with Giovanni Marquez and Kevin Brown yesterday. Paid decently. Take some easy money, but join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below, guys. Join the Patreon. Just five dollars a month get you all the perks. Five dollars a month would make you filthy rich. Um, it's not even a question anymore. It's just a no-brainer. Join the Patreon. Five dollars a month. We hit the the the, the lock. So you get the lock of the week. You ask the book you anything. Ask me to handicap a fight. Ask me to put a parlay together for you. We get additional props that perhaps isn't out on DraftKings uh, when we do the video. So there's a ton of perks there. Um, but before we, all right. So let's get into let's get into the fight. Xander Zayas, twenty one years old. You know, I, I interviewed him before his was first professional fight in twenty nineteen, and it was on Shakur Stevenson card in Reno. Um, strong as an ox, explosive power, nice stiff jab, really really good power jab. He's a good power boxer. Uh, throws hard, violent shots, commits to every shot he throws. I'm a big fan of him offensively. He's a man-child in many, many ways. He's just 21 years old still. A uh, terrific body puncher, great combination. He's heavy on the front foot. He's heavy-handed. He's heavy on the front foot. Everything he throws is hard and violent. You know, at a very, very high level, I have some questions about him, whether he can be picked apart, right, whether he can be exposed, whether you can sit back and counter him, we're not there yet. And I know Patrick Teixeira, this is the first former world champion. He's facing Patrick Teixeira, is a former world champion. So this is a big step up for Xander Zayas. I'm a big Zayas guy. Zayas has grown on me. At first, I thought he was too sloppy, and too flat-footed, but I, I like him. He's grown a lot on me. He mixes up levels. He puts different combinations together. He gives you different looks, different combinations. So it's not predictable. He's not easy to counter. I'm talking about on the highest level. Um his offense is his defense in a lot of ways, right? He gets you to shell up. He gets you to go backwards. He gets you uncomfortable with his overwhelming, you know, tenacity and, and violence and, and strength. He's 21. This guy at 28 is going to be really, really interesting. Like, he's just so physically strong and powerful. Good volume for a committed puncher. But a guy that really sits down and shots, turns him over, his volume is good. A lot of times you see these fighters like that, and they don't throw a lot. Is selective in their shots. He throws pretty. He, he throws in pretty decent volume. Clean, hard, straight shots. Good speed for a puncher. He likes to lead. He likes to be first. He mixes up levels. Um, like he, he, he's a little bit flat-footed. I don't love his movement. I don't love his head movement. Right, like defensively, he's not great. But it, you got to deal with him offensively and. He changes your offense to defense just by the way he attacks and just by the way he stays off the front foot, right? You'll have an offensive mindset. He'll start ripping off these shots. Now you're just avoiding daggers, right? Like now you're just avoiding shotgun blows, right? So he's changed your approach from offense to defense. Uh, And he does that. You know what I'm saying? Offensively, defensively, his best defense is his offense. Again, at the highest level, how's that going to work? With a pure masterclass technician, how's that going to work? Well, we're going to find out. Right now, we're not. Teixeira is a great fighter. I was a huge Teixeira fan. You know, if I follow MCR, if you, I've always been a big fan of uh, Patrick Teixeira. Really good offensive fighter. Tall, long. Uses his jab, 
he used to circle and he used to move. You can see now that Teixeira has really, really slowed down a bit. He's aged. I don't want to say he's washed, but he's a little bit washed. He's not the fighter he was. He's still a very good offensive fighter. He still has great timing. He's still a big hitter. He still has a good chin. He can still has a lot of things. And he's not that old, but he's been in a lot of wars. How old is Patrick Deshaun? I think he's 33. Yeah, he's 33. I'll be 34. And I like him. Yeah, uh, it, You can see he has kind of the remnants, the leftovers of a world champion, of a, of a really high-level world-class fighter. He's run off a few losses. He's 34-4 and four now. He's won off a few wins since his back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back losses. He lost to Castano in 2021. Then it got bad. He had the, the DQ loss in the Alamo Dome in San Antonio on a Ryan Garcia card. Uh, then he lost to uh, Karbanov in, in a one-sided beatdown. He's run off a couple of wins in Brazil, off television, not against really top-level opposition. We're going to see how that does. His movement has slowed down. He's not the fighter that he used to be. He jabs off the front foot. He gets his way in, and he can mix up his combination. I like his, his left hook. I like his timing. He's got really, really good timing. He uses his range well. Right? He uses his size and his reach well. He Well, left-hand jab. He can keep you off with the left-hand jab. Uh, the, the lead hook is really sharp, too. The, the South Pole lead hook, he throws really, really effective. Also, pretty good counterpunch, pretty good timing. His skills aren't super sharp on the inside, which I, I think this fight's going to – it's going to be a collision course, right? Like, Xander Zayas is just going to march forward, right? And in in previous fights, uh, Tashara would circle well, circle well, circle, circle, and use the ring. He doesn't do that so much anymore. He's more stationary. So this fight's going to go down, and Tashara can hit on the inside. He's just not very technically sound. He gets hit too much. He gets – and, and I, I think that's going to ultimately be the difference. And I think Zayas is going to break him down and, and and eventually stop him. It's just, Zayas is too good, too strong, too powerful for this to not. And I'm not saying it's going to be a one-sided fight. I don't think the fight's necessarily going to be completely one-sided. I think Tessera will have moments, but I think ultimately he's going to be outgunned and outmatched by the, the younger Zayas. Let's take a look at the odds. Zayas is at minus 1,400. And there's no... What is this? That's not it. Right now, all we got is the money line. Okay? We're not going to, obviously... And, and you can do a two-times bet on this. Two-hour bet's going to make you 15 bucks. It's a safe bet. Right now, we're not going to make a, a lot of money on the money line. The money's not there. What I like, though, on this bet is... Zayas by stoppage. We're going to look at the over under. see what the over under is. Zaya is by TKO DQ. I like uh, TKO stoppage. They, they always give you DQ as well. Uh, but I like Zaya by stoppage. They don't have it yet. What you guys got to do is join the Patreon. It's just $5 a month. We're going to show you how to make money because the money on this isn't on the money line. Everyone knows Zaya is going to win this fight, and that's fine. If you want to make money on it, join the Patreon. It's just $5 a month. And this, either way, this is a good fight to add to any parlay. It'll bring your odds down a little bit. It's easy money. Add this to your parlay. It's a good little bet. It saves Zayas. is going to beat the shower. But to make money on this as a standalone, we're going to have to take Zayas by stoppage. And we don't have those odds yet from DraftKings. They literally just have the money line. They'll drop it later in the week. Usually Thursday or so, they'll, they'll drop it. But let me know. Uh, Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner ball. Five dollars a month. We'll take a look at this again, and we'll see how to make money on the money line. Uh, how to make money on on the props? Because it's either going to be the under or Zayas by stoppage. When they when they bring out the odds, we'll, we'll take a look at that. Um, I, I like this fight not to go the distance. Obviously, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the boxing book. Your old form social media. Three D boxing. Three D boxing blog. Yeah, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, join the Patreon link. is in the description. $5 a month gets you all the benefits in the world. Um, it is June 1st. It's June 1st. We're already like almost halfway through the year. June 1st, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. 
Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.